Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and hey, you can do this. Because I am introducing a update to one of my plugins, and I'm demonstrating with Bespoke as I would like to do. We're working on all the aesthetic of everything, but here this is a update that is more than just the aesthetics. It's practical. You see here BiQuad and the new plugin BiQuad Plus. And as you can see, BiQuad's like this and BiQuad Plus is like this. But observe this behavior. That is zipper noise. Because the original BiQuad plugin updates its uh, BiQuad calculations once every sample frame. And as such, it works better as a fixed frequency thing. But if we just move this over to BiQuad Plus, there you have it. And uh, I believe we can also demonstrate what it sounds like with a waveform. Let's do a sawtooth wave or something. Here's original biquad. Type is low pass filter. Frequency can go right down. Oh, we're not plugged into it. But as you can hear with the sine wave, we're still getting zipper noise. And hey, since this is, after all, bespoke, let's add an LFO. And we'll pin that. And there we have it. And we can put it to our sawtooth wave again. All very well and good, but we've got that zipper noise. But same LFO. And now when we go to the sawtooth wave, As you can see, we can do stuff with it without getting that zipper noise. Because it came with a sort of air windowsified version of smoothing it, but it is still the air windows biquad filter. So if there is a tone to be had here, let's do it at a free rate. Also, I think I can probably break this by making it oscillate too fast. Let's go back to the sine wave again. That is a very steep Q, and I can make it even steeper.
and we're just modulating the heck out of that uh, frequency control. Except if we then move the uh, it to this one, this is why zipper noise is the thing. Sorry about that, that's probably hurting your ears. But, um, so that's the deal, is if you have zipper noise, then you can do some grindy, grimy electronic things if you really want to, but... Oh, sorry, that was loud too. When we address that, we can clean up the behavior when doing things like modulating the frequency at 20 hertz, which is excessive, so let's not. Let's just pick something else, like uh, square wave. So that is Biquad Plus. This is a uh, nice little audio unit and a VST plugin for pretty much everything out there. It's uh, old school Mac and uh, old school Mac and PC AU and VST for the Mac and the PC. And it's also signed M1 Mac. Uh, for those who are using those and basically this is my introduction to some things that I'm going to be getting into a little bit more. This is going to be an exciting fall because remember how I had those um, Z-plane filters? Well it looks like we're going to have Z-plane filters too because it might still have there are some purposes for having the original Z-plane filters that do the zipper noise thing. One, if you're doing them as a fixed frequency, it'll be more CPU efficient. And two, you can get some kind of gnarly, uh, grimy electrical effects out of manipulating that stuff. But it was much desired by people that they wanted to have a version of those plugins without zipper noise. And so I'm going to begin working on that. And they will come out when they come out. I've got a bunch of stuff kind of in the pipeline. Like one of the things that uh, we can see over here is monitoring two. You can also see, although I'm not running into it, um, console and tube two. I'm not going into that right now, but I am going into monitoring two because monitoring two has that pad control that I put in so that it works more directly with tube two and monitoring two is also using the dark word length reducer. And so these things are going to come out and I also have a multiband distortion that uh, a particular user of mine really, really wanted to have. That one's kind of strange. That's from the dawn of time, the early days of Air Windows, and it's coded very weirdly and uh, makes very ugly noises. Hopefully you'll like it, but um, once I've got those clear and some other secret, I have even more secret projects I'm not even telling you about yet, but Biquad Plus means that a bunch of different things, whether they be the Z-plane filters 
or for instance, I believe Isolator is built out of uh, biquads and would do with an update in this way. Some of these things are going to start getting that zipper noise improvement because, as you can see, one of the fun things about my new favorite, uh, hello, why are you not, there it is. One of the fun things about um, doing this kind of workstation, you got to love open source software because all of this, everything that you see here, whoop, is entirely free software that you can just have. Looking pretty good, huh? You can just have this. If that looks fun, uh, we'll be doing lots more of it because I'm starting to do music streams again using this very system, Bespoke. It's the hot new open source uh, doll-like thing out there, and it's looking to be a lot of fun and very interesting and liberating. And I am supporting it as hard as I can. I am, all of my plugins already work with it. I had a fellow show up with a feature request for the guy in Bespoke, and he was like, uh, could you maybe make it so that if you made a, f a project file on Windows and it had an Air Windows VST, and then you opened the project file on Linux and also had the Linux Air Windows VST, and could you make it so that it would just port straight over? I know it seems like a very hard thing to do. And uh, yeah, the fellow was like, uh, no, it already does. <laughs> it already does. So happy accidents, or at least things working as they should in both Air Windows land and Bespoke land and the open source software land. And as such, hope you like it. I will tell you more as I have the ability to tell you more. I've got some secrets that I'm sitting on that should make it a very exciting fall and winter, but uh, that's a whole other story. For now, I hope you enjoy Air Windows by Quad Plus. It's a nice little update to the kind of smoothing and zipper noise reduction of that filter, and there's more where that came from. So I'll be busy for a little while doing that stuff. And uh, thank you very much for paying attention and for bearing with me through all of this stuff, all this wacky new things going on. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.